So it was e4, e6, d4, d5, French defense. Everybody knows, very well known opening. And now, uh, which is a little bit strange for Morozovic's style, uh, he chooses uh, a variation which is not so aggressive as, for instance, Vinavar line. Yeah, but uh, Morozovic plays this uh, opening all his life. Yes, so I know. He's a specialist for this so opening. I already yes. had several games with him, mm -hmm. exactly in this variation. And okay, I also played myself as black. Okay, today when I was preparing for Morozovic, uh, I knew that he might play three or four different openings. So it's not easy uh, to so prepare. So in such so yeah, exactly. And um, well, uh, after e5, uh, d7, f. Mm, Mm -hmm. f4 c5 knight f3 knight 6 bishop e3 c4 knight d4 okay normally uh, i would expect bishop c5 because he played like this many years ago so and but maybe i was influenced by the fact that i myself play bishop c5 here as black so and after queen b6 okay this is always this problem that uh, when you didn't expect something for the particular game and didn't check your lines didn't uh, uh, do it properly and your opponent plays very fast you understand that if you want to enter some very concrete and some very sharp lines you need to be sure that you are really better there because otherwise you would just be caught to your opponent's analysis so and um, okay so here i already thought about some sidelines but such as a3 but okay this gives nothing of course uh, black simply plays bishop c5 and uh, Knight e4, queen e5 check, uh, c3 takes, takes, and, and so, queen takes um, e4, and, and it's clear that black's position is, is basically quite okay here, so, um, okay. So that was the reason I, because uh, normally I would like to play sideline already, but uh, if if there is no way to fight for the advantage, I decided to choose the main lines. But then the problem was that in the main line I couldn't uh, remember how I should play afterwards. Okay, so this is a critical moment. Um, uh, I play bishop takes d7. I remember that um, that the main theory ultimately is rook b3, uh, queen e7. Bishop a4 with the idea that if black plays b5 to sacrifice. Mm -hmm. And knight takes b5. And I remember that one of the lines, I was not even sure whether this is the only line for black, is queen d8. Maybe black should give check first on h4. Uh, this I didn't think so much about. It. So queen a5, knight c7, king a8, knight takes a8, queen takes a8. So, so a position like this that uh, black would have bishop and knight against rook and pawn so theoretically by material white is actually standing worse but black king is not so good in the center so white still has attacking possibilities still uh, the main reason for me to reject this line was uh, the fact that how quickly Morozevic played the opening move so it was absolutely clear that he wanted he to play. Something. He yeah. wanted to play this position, and he will, he might have his preparation for ten more moves. And uh, okay, strategically there is always a risk in such positions. So, and then, but still, I would definitely play this, if not the fact that when I was thinking about bishop takes d7, I thought that in exactly the line that would happen in the game, uh, that. Um, I thought that queen f2 gives me some advantage in the end game. I completely missed bishop e7, I just completely missed it. So if I saw that uh, bishop e7 was coming, I would probably play something else. So what was the alternative instead uh, of the queen f2? Well, if instead of queen f2, g3 I didn't like so much. I thought we can play, for example, queen h3. So I, I lose the opportunity to castle. I was thinking about some funny moves like knight e4. But I failed to find anything more than draw even if black takes it. Black is not even uh, obliged, to, obliged take. to take it. But even if he takes, uh, I thought this is a draw. So that's what I was calculating. Queen c3, rook d8, check c6, and so on. So yes. And uh, at this moment, I still thought I'm fighting for a win. So 
<laughs> because uh, as I said, I missed this bishop e7 move completely. So, uh, well, the real alternative was bishop f2, of course. And then I suppose black should come back with a queen to d8, and white makes castle. Well, this position is really very interesting because uh, strategically it looked like black might be better in the future because uh, because of the structure two, and two bishops. Yes, exactly. But he's still underdeveloped, and white pieces are very active. So. Uh, obviously, this was another way to to try to get into open file, uh, f uh, fight. Fight, yes. So, okay. Uh, once again, I say that my opponent was definitely prepared to play this position too. But but still, White's position is solid as well. So I wouldn't mind to play it, of course. But uh, my problem was that I thought after going f2, Black should take on f2, and then I win a tempo comparing to the game, and then of course I'm better in the end game. So I thought that. I can just play better end game with no risk and with some winning chances. But yes. after Bishop e7, I was I missed completely, and then I understood. Okay, first of all, I'm not better, and second, I have to change queens because now if I avoid queens exchange, I might uh, be in strategical danger afterwards. You think okay. so? After g3 and mm. Bishop c5, mm. you think that you can be in danger? Mm. You cannot castle so easily. You. Well, bishop c5, I could also play here. No, no, no. Uh, yes, of course, but I mean, without changing queens. Uh, just ah, you mean just g3 and uh, and bishop c5, because queen is not uh, defending anymore. Bishop e7. For instance, just. Yeah, yeah. No, I was thinking about this too, of course. Um, well, at the moment, it seems that black can start with a move like bishop d8. So I don't think I have any sacrifice in like rook takes d7, yeah. and then bishop c6 is already a threat. And when my no, queen comes to g4, there is queen g2. So. No, I think uh, uh, something like king d2 and rook, rook on b1. Yeah, but I think Just I'm not uh -huh. in time. So. Ah, you have not time to do this. I'm not in time. So. You are not in time, but he, he, he cannot, mm. he cannot cancel, not yet. Yeah, therefore, okay. it was more interesting to play g3 one move earlier. But, uh, Do you think so? Yeah, but okay. But as I said, here, this 94 combination I didn't see more than draw, and otherwise, yeah, no. Well, actually, I was thinking about the funny pawn sacrifice like this, but uh, f5. So I suppose that. Well, but first, my I wasn't even sure what I would do if Black like, just ignores. Just it. ignores. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. just continues. If he took with the, uh, with the queen, then Rook F1. One, yeah. yes. And still, it's not so clear whether I'm achieving a lot because yeah. uh, Queen comes to G6 and okay, okay, Black is underdeveloped, but he needs only very few moves to develop to complete it. So, yeah. so therefore, in this position, I, I thought mainly about Knight E4. And, no, but. I'm sure that bishop f2 here, yes, this was uh, this was the right move. Yeah, the, this was the right uh, idea, because also I'm threatening bishop b6 sometimes. And then, yeah, it's, uh, this position can actually be quite tricky, because uh, I also have my threats, and for example, but I think we should just play queen c8. So, okay, I'm trying to be as active as I can. And and then I think finally Black will get We must say that bishop b5 is not a threat because of knight takes b5 and if yes. the king takes b7, knight d6 check. Yeah. That's, uh, yeah, so... Well... I, I'm thinking now about rook a7, but then Black just goes bishop b7 and mm -hmm. now he wants to take on a7. Point to take, oh, but yes, okay, yeah. there are some ideas, like maybe move like queen d4, so... It's... Uh, it's actually still, still rather tricky. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this is uh, definitely what I should have played. It's, uh, there is absolutely no doubt. But, uh, this position okay. is, in, in any case, is more difficult to play for Black because he must make, mm -hmm. I think, at least 10, 15 very, very accurate moves to, yeah. to equalize. Here. But maybe he has now bishop c6 because if I play. I don't have time now for bishop b6 check because of bishop c5. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, and okay, I can sacrifice the exchange. He doesn't castle, but I believe it's probably not enough still for the exchange. No, no, here so, not. 
and okay. Yeah, now I don't have OK eight because my rook is not here. Okay, and so that means that he can play bishop c six one move earlier. Okay, if he, he can play b six normal moves. Yeah. Okay, now maybe queen. Yes, queen c eight with the same idea of bishop e seven and bishop d eight. And I think Black didn't want to play this with the white bishop on a d four because then I have a five. Aha. But here, of course, f five. I need at least one more tempo to create an attack on the f file because my bishop is on f2 is a Okay, if you play now bishop d4 with the threat of f6 after eventual castle. Mm. Yeah, but okay, first of all, probably let's uh, uh, chase your rook. Yes. Okay. And then maybe even takes my pawns. So. Uh, could you now intermediate move take on e6? Mm, yes, uh, of course. Now yeah. he cannot castle anymore and then just go back with the rook. Mm -hmm, let's say to b3. Yeah. This should be better for white, I think. But now I don't know how it is if black just exchanges. Just plays rook f8. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, maybe maybe I should uh, put or my rook to b1. So, uh -huh. mm -hmm. yes, so this then is after better. this is better. Yeah, then to pr yes. yeah, against rook f8, it this is better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, this position looks interesting. Yeah. But okay, maybe after bishop d4, maybe black can. Try to take this pawn immediately. So. Mm -hmm. Of course, if you ah, uh -huh, then uh, this is dangerous. E6 and take and rook G8 and D4 is mm -hmm. coming. Maybe, who knows? Yeah. Normally, white's uh, continuation such position. Maybe knight, knight E2, two. knight F4. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Just maneuver. Somehow I don't. I feel that black should be alright because he already castles. So. Okay, it's pawn. Okay. But okay. Anyway, this is yeah. logical. From a psychological yeah. point of view, when you are surprised in the opening the first round, it's uh, one always, you know, looks for uh, safe solutions, yeah. not to risk too much. So it is quite understandable. Yeah. No, I agree that I should have set up bigger fight. I mean, I came today to to fight, of course, and. Uh, Yes, we know. Uh, we all know that you are uh, <laughs> natural-born fighters. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah. but okay. I'm. Uh, I need to get into this tournament first. <laughs> Hopefully, my next games will be more fighting than this one. So, okay, well, anyway, tomorrow I have to fight because I'm black. A lot so. of interesting content, even in this, uh, in such a quick finish game. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. Okay.